There are multiple methods to find good track matches with Rekordbox and your CDJs. The first method is in Rekordbox itself, uh, but which is also displayed on your CDJs. Let's uh, click on display related track list. Then you see four items over here. You probably have only one item and that's this item over here. And the reason why I have multiple items is because if I right click on this, I can create a new related tracks item and then I can add my own. So let's do that. And then you'll get a screen and in this screen, you can specify what you want to see as a related items thing. And uh, like I said, you can have multiple uh, categories, if you'd like to call that, you can multi have multiple items. Because for every item, you can select a couple of things uh, over here. Uh, I can select, for example, um, when I unselect this, tracks in the same genre, uh, I can only have tracks that have a BPM that is plus or minus 5% of the current tracks BPM. Over here it says including double or half and the reason it says that is because recognize uh, record box often recognizes the BPM wrong and then recognizes double or a half BPM. Uh, but uh, probably a little bit more, more useful is having a BPM and key selected. And when you select key, then you can set, for example, uh, the same key. So it needs to match the key exactly. The related key, so uh, it um, uh, crosses the circle of fifths and related key two is loosely related. Uh, it can cross the circle of fifths. Uh, I would say uh, select a related key two. So that's the broadest, that still sounds good. Let's also give this a name, for example, uh, BPM and key. And then I click on OK. And now it says BPM and key over here. And now when I go to uh, the playlists and I have a playlist over here, for example, I have Beats Anthem. And then for example, when I select this song over here and then I click on related items over here on the right, then you can see that it displays related items. And the reason why it says now uh, matching demo video is because I selected not the item that I just made. So let's go back to related items. And now right click on BPM and key and then select display on sub panel. And now it says BPM and key over here. Uh, let's go back to the playlist and now you'll see it will fill out the list over here. And now every time when I select a new song, then you'll see that this list will update according to the preferences that I set earlier. Uh, make sure that over here is an item that says list and here's this says master and A. It can also be B and that is if you are in the two player mode in the export mode, then you'll see that there is also B. What that means is now when I select a new item in the list, then it will update this list, but it can also use the master and the master is the output that is over here. Uh, let's drag a second track over here. Oops. Now, come on. Now the track that is the master is uh, matched in this list over here, or I can say I want it to be always the first track, so that is track A, or I want it to be always track B. My preference is uh, selecting this in list because now I can see of the current track uh, what is compatible, uh, but uh, I regularly use master. When you are in the two player mode, you can actually record a track match. When you go to the right over here, you can see a link symbol. That means that if this is a track that is a good match, I can record that match. It, it isn't, but let's say it is. Um, I can record this match and now it is stored in the memory of Rekordbox. If I want to uh, use this match on my CDJs, then uh, make sure that you export uh, this track also to your USB drive before it is uh, before you can use it on your CDJ. Because what you're able to do now is when I go to matching tracks, what I can do is I can make a related tracks item by creating a new related tracks list. But instead of selecting BPM or tracks in the same genre, I can select matching. And I uh, give this a good name, uh, for example, uh, matching Booyah.
And when I click OK, I can see this related item over here. And um, when I show this on my sub panel, uh, which is here on the right, then you can see the direct matches with this track. Another way to get track suggestion is by letting Recordbox suggesting tracks to you automatically. And you can find over here on the left side, it says display track suggestion. It can suggest things based on era, mood and association. For example, when I have a track and era, also here notice that it says master A, B, uh, that is the same thing that we had over here earlier. Uh, let's remove this uh, this list over here. So now it matches with the master and otherwise it matches with uh, track A or track B. And now it's based on era, mood or association. A third way of getting track ideas in record books is by looking at elements in a song. So what I would do for you to recognize these elements is uh, create a couple of tracks, of course, in your list, but add tags to them and you can add tags over here on the right side of the screen is a tag icon and now over here you have a couple of different items that you can check these items there are a couple of items already here in record box but i've added a couple of items as well uh, for example mood uh, you can add those over here and you can add those by clicking on the plus sign on the bottom of a section for example here horn sound and press enter and you can assign those items to a certain track for example a DJ cha cha uh, for example um, I have a couple of dances over here I can say cha cha but I can also say oh there is a bell uh, in the in the song uh, or there is a flute in the song this way when I have a couple of tracks with flutes in it I can match those tracks to get track matches in the same mood or with the same kind of vibe. So now I have selected do the cha cha with, I have associated flute and bells. And of course I need to have multiple tracks with uh, flutes and bells <laughs> to make this make sense or squeezy beat. Uh, let's say there's a flute in there. It isn't, but let's say there's a flute in there. What I can do now is create a playlist here on the left side and create a playlist. Mm, let's make a folder first. So create new folder with track elements. And now I can create a smart playlist. So right click on this playlist and let's click on create intelligent playlist. Um, I have to give this a proper name, for example, bells. And now over here, instead of artist, I select my tag. And it says now my tag contains, and now I have to select over here, bells, 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 yes. And now I select OK. And now you see that over here in the folder track elements, there is an item called bells. And over here, it will show all the tracks that I have associated with bells over here. And this might be a lot of work when you have a, a large collection, but uh, what I would recommend is every time when you import tracks, when you analyze the tracks, make sure that these tags are up to date because uh, that helps you in the long run. So you don't have to do that all at once, but you do every time a little bit. That makes it uh, much easier to manage. Let's uh, take a look at the next way. And that is when I go to a playlist or I select the whole collection, I can do that as well. I can select based on artist because generally speaking, not every time, but generally speaking, when I have uh, tracks of the same artist, they are generally in the same style and generally speaking, they are a good match to mix. And when I go to Noor uh, Ampure, for example, then I know these tracks are in the same style, generally speaking, the same have the same BPM and often the same key or compatible keys. And a lot of tracks of Nora Ampure really mix well together. Another way of finding good track matches is to order a playlist, for example, the playlist Ibiza Anthem, um, order that playlist by key, for example, and 
then what you can do is make a new playlist out of the items that are in a certain key for example G minor over here now let's create a new playlist and then when I go back to the Ibiza anthem playlist and <laughs> I have to sort on key again and then when I take the items of G minor and I drag and drop them to G minor tracks that's the playlist I just created and you can see that I only have the G minor tracks over here and then what you can do is sort them by BPM and then make sure that the tracks that fall a little bit out of the line uh, let's say 100 and 105 uh, let's uh, delete them remove from playlist yes and now I have a playlist with items that mix well together when it comes to key and when it comes to BPM and what I can do is when I switch off the sorting over here I can drag and drop items yeah there is a bug in <laughs> in record box right now uh, because you can drag and drop items in a playlist yeah now it works um, now I can drag and drop items in this playlist in the order that I want to and select the items that work very well and delete the items that don't work very well for example these and these and when you kick out the items that don't work that don't work that don't work then uh, all of a sudden then you have a list of tracks that work really well together and it's already organized in a playlist and you probably recognize the situation that you know that you had an amazing night last night and the crowd was going crazy but what did you play last night and which tracks were that amazing and which track work well together well you can see that in the history in record box when you go to the left side over here there is his display histories over here then when you uh, look at the at the playlist over uh, at the list over here you can see that in histories there are folders with years and even folders with months and also a folder with something that looks like a playlist now what you can do is export this playlist as a normal playlist by uh, right clicking on this item and click on turn the play history into a playlist let's do that and now nothing seems to happen but when I click on uh, not collection but when I click on playlists then you see at the bottom over here you see the playlist that we just created so now you have a playlist of all the tracks that you played in a certain night and you can remove the tracks that you don't want and now you have an amazing playlist that you can reuse the next time that you're playing a gig because you already know you already tested this playlist on a crowd and you know already that this works no Knowing your equipment is the best DJ tip that I can give you and that's why I've compiled a comprehensive record box video training with all the ins and outs of record box. You can find a link in the video description.